Come on, let's open these up. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Open up your presents. Yeah, toys. It's been so long since I did a Monster High review, I think it's about time that I do one. So let's take a look at these. What are they even calling them? Flying Monster High Pixie Girls? I think the small ones are pixies. I do not like the smaller ones. The paint jobs are not good on those. These, however, I didn't think I liked them, but I like them. I really like the party ghouls a lot. The price point on those are uh, a bit more. They're $20 each here in Canada, so I'm just waiting for them to go on sale. I do have Teresa, but I have passed on buying these a few times. They've even been 30% off. The paint's bad. I don't like them, and that's really rare for me to say I might like them more if I open them up, but the paint just didn't look good, and everything's molded, and they're really thin. They're not hunky or chunky at all. This is a long-haired Torilei. I'm gonna just crack open these. It's Toila, and this is Cleo Denial. The backs are all the same. I do like this artwork. I never open up this many at the same time. See how there's different layers of cardboard? No wonder it looks so elaborate. I'm really impressed by that. That looks so good. It's like a shadow box. And then more of the creepy garden inside. I'm really interested in seeing what the quality of the wings are like. So it just says that the wings are separatable. Here's the back of the card. It's pretty. It's creepy. Pretty cool. Okay, here it goes. The hair is a thicker, not as soft quality. It makes me feel better about the budgets that I really, really like because the only thing that I don't like about the cheaper ones is that the hair isn't the same quality. So now I see that the hair is the same quality as the more deluxe dolls. They do have full articulation. It is the new articulation where there's more gaps. I don't mind that. I prefer not to have articulation anyway, but this is really sturdy articulation. I like that on the new rebooted Monster High that the arms are thicker and they're not as thin and flimsy as they used to be. The other thing that I noticed is that all of the dresses are of a very nylon-y plastic, so not soft material, but they are very layered and detailed. They have their like raincoat dresses on to keep them dry in the dewy fields wherever they flock. Torla is the only one who came with one wing assembled. The best part about these is that the wings are actually really nice. They could have been just flat, but no, they're very dimensional. And look at the painting on this. There is a cat. It's very beautiful, very stained glassy. They're all translucent. There's texture to them. You can see that there's relief and there's sculpted edges. It's so true to life. They're very nice. And then I'll plug them in, in the back. That's where the holes are. The wings are very articulated. They're on this ball jointy hinge and you can twist them in different ways. Whoa, that one twisted right off. Make sure that they're snapped in properly. And Torlai has patterns on her skin because she is a cat. And I really like the color in her hair. Two of them have glasses. I should take these off because that's what I do. I don't believe in keeping these plastic fasteners in because that's not part of the toy. And these glasses are meant to be worn. I kind of like the hair and I say this with the budget ones because it reminds me so much of my hair. It feels like re real hair that way. This streak is kind of awesome. It's just this crimped I love the colors. I usually don't like Torlai. One of my least favorite. I don't know why. It might be her colors, but she's a standout here for sure. Love these fluorescent shoes. I like that they're not painted. I love that the dress has so many details. One, two, three layers of different things. There's another mesh at the top here. And I like the unique skin that they do with Monster High. It's like that wing falls off all the time. I think one wing can push out the other wing. They're in there pretty secure. On the back, there is no pattern on the dress, but it's a nice black satin. This material is much softer than the printed one. Here are the glasses. They're pretty spectacular. I'll put them on myself first. 
always like to try on the glasses to see how they work. How does that look on me? That look good? Yeah, these look sweet. I would totally rock these. I should make these in my size for sure. Yeah, look good. So I guess she doesn't have any ears to hold them on. But when you put them in her hair, they look pretty great. Look at her great makeup, her nose, and I like the marks on her face. It's pretty sweet looking. The hair color is awesome. Oh, I forgot to put Torlai's tail in. Does she have a hole? Yes, she does have a hole in the back of her dress. You get the most for your buck with Torlai. It goes into her back. That's the thing about the monster high tails, which is pretty common with dolls, but they do put the tail in a bit high. But yeah, wow. Cat butterfly. She's got a lot going on. Really cool. Okay, and then we have Cleo. She's got the same kind of thing going with her dress. You got a piece of tulle asymmetrically over the nylon-y dress. And then it goes all the way to the back and there's a belt. And then there's this one shoulder thing that's happening there. She's got bangs and they're swept over to one side. I like the two tones they're doing. Not too complicated. Just an interesting streak there and a streak there. And of course on her skin she has the bandages and I love that. I think that's so realistic because you were wrapped for that many years you'd have indents in your skin for sure. She's got a great face. Pretty yet subtle. Torlai, not so subtle. And her glasses. Let's see how they look on me. Those are a bit creepier, weirder, stranger. I don't like those ones on me as much. It's very bendable, that's kind of scary. You can bend at the nose piece, but maybe it's not gonna break off. And the sunglasses work well as a headband. They can look like interesting antenna that way. They'll probably look better on her. Yep, they do. They look really cool on. They have little wing antenna things on them. Same hair thing. Really thick, coarse hair. Amazing shoes. Really amazing shoes. Again, I love that they're not painted. Most people wouldn't like that. I just like how the details look unpainted. Solid gold beauties. And then I'll show you her wings. Her wings look like this. Again, lots of texture to them. Very stained glassy. I like how they can fold up behind and open like this. They're a bit flatter on her so they can really fold up. She looks pretty cool. And then last, we got this little thing. The little boogie girl. She always looks more ethereal, more unique skin. So she's got some boogie pattern on her arm there. That's all they gave her this time. Oh, no, and down her arm there. So just one arm with a little bit of shadowy smoke. Her tool is really torn up. Over again, nylon, and then she's got this ribbon detail here. Her pattern goes all the way around on all parts of the dress. And it's tied on the back. Really creepy bug with big feathery antennae. And it's an asymmetrical placement of it. That is one big creepy bug that she wears on her head. Same kind of hair. Hers feels a bit softer, but it's not. Again, all of the colors are pretty sweet. Such a dreamy blue. She's very quintessential fairy and creepy fairy. And her eyes will glow in the dark. This is what she looks like with her bug headpiece. And these are her wings. So they've got a black edge to them figure out which is the top and the bottom. I'm pretty sure this is top and bottom. Not flat. Lots of shape and details and texture on them. Plug those into her back. I'll show you her. Cool little shoes. No heels on them. Very buggy look. I'm not sure that you can see what a great color that is on the camera, but I really like this color. Look how cool her eyes are. Very cool eyes. And here's how much shorter she is than the other ghouls. Just a wee little thing. Yeah, these are really cool. I like them. The hair is the hardest thing to deal with. The hair is always hard for me to deal with. I prefer just to clip the hair up out of the way anyway. Give it a good comb and I'm sure it would be fine. Did you get this line? Do you like this line? I wonder if I have these wings on upside down. I do. I'm used to a fancy edge being on the bottom of a wing, but these parts are smaller. She's so small. I don't have a favorite. I like them all equally. 
tell me which one you like best though and let me know if you have this line or if you want to get this line i think they're okay i think they're definitely worth it I love the changes that Mattel made. I like simplicity, yet it has details. They're very sturdy, which I think is important. The quality for me is better because they're not so flimsy and they're not so delicate. Their bodies look better because they're not so thin. I'd love to hear what you think. Leave your comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. It's Christmas time. Up your presents, yeah, toys. Think of the happiest things, it's the same as having wings. Think of all the joy you'll find when you leave the world behind. Bid your fears goodbye. You can fly, you can fly, you can fly. Okay, maybe she is my favorite. She's so cute and angelic.